Hello there. So I got a new uh, set in. I got this in a couple days ago. And uh, and I've been kind of looking them over before I did a video on them. But it is the Vintage Collection Tuscan Raider Army Builder Pack from uh, Book of Boba Fett. And uh, again, we're getting, you know, um, just going through these guys. I'll just show you real quick. Um, a lot of kit bashing, but that's fine. I don't, I'm not complaining about that. But uh, overall, great figures, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, but one thing I did notice is like these guys, like these guys have the same torso. Actually, I believe it's all three of them. It's just they're painted different. And, uh, but they all have the ball hinged shoulders. Here, let's see. To show on this guy here. So, ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows, swivel wrists. They've got a swivel at the waist. Uh, like I said, ball head there. Um, they do have the updated uh, barbell that are hips there. Um, ball hinged knees. And uh, ball hinged angles with a rocker, which is very nice for posability. So more modern on the uh, waist down there. And I, these are from different figures. I just, I can't place it right now. I'd have to look. But um, they're all there. The only difference here is this guy, the, the Chieftain, has, is since he's got an all new chest sculpt there, like torso, um, he has the, the barbell head. So he's a little more articulated in the head, which I like. But, you know, as we're looking at him. Um, as far as accessories... You come, they come with three regular uh, gaffy sticks. I'm sorry, two gaffy sticks like that. Then you have two of the standard rifle. And then you have this. Whoop. <laughs> Pop that back in there. That's kind of weird. Okay, so and then you have the chieftain staff. Now, one of the complaints I've had about the these... Um, you, I, you saw it in my last with the uh, the two twelfth clone troopers was they have like a straight unique figure, which kind of shoots the whole army building aspect of these out of the water because you can't just buy a but not like like the stormtrooper pack or the uh, short troopers or anything like that. You can just buy multiples and you just have multiple squads. You can't really do that when you have such a unique character. Little. Um, toned down on this one, I should say. I mean, yeah, it's a unique head on the Chieftain here. And also the unique, you know, the torso here with the, uh, the, the neck with the extra accoutrements there sculpted in. And the staff. But, you know, if you take this staff away, and you kind of cover him up here. And, uh, I just, you know... There's a good chance. You could kind of get him to blend in a bit and give him just a regular gaffy stick or a rifle, you know, because you then you still have four accessories without this. You know, they, the argument could be made. It could be work. It's an army builder set. Um, that's up to you guys to decide. Uh, leave a comment below if you agree with me or not on that. I just, I go kind of either way to way to look at these. I mean, I only bought one of these sets. It's really, I think, all I needed for this. So, but, um, do like what they've done here. I mean, look the the soft goods have really nailed it on these guys. You know, it's really awesome. So you got like, I mean, look at the the pattern here that just kind of comes across. That looks really good. And, and you know, and I really like the mix and match of the darker robes and the sand. You know, no more no more beige robes on these guys, which is really cool. So um, again, here we can take a little closer look at the rifle. Yeah, typical. I mean, I think, yeah, the, the Nomad or Tuscan Boba Fett has one. And, you know, we've seen this type of rifle with different Tuscan Raiders in the past. I believe they're reusing head sculpts here, and that is fine. I mean, you're, you're talking Tuscan Raiders here. But again, you know, this this guy here, his, you know, it's not just a wraparound robe. It actually goes over the, the post for his head, you know, so he's... uh. 
and then this guy here has got the, you know, it's more like short sleeve and then these, they made darker material in the arms, which is nice. So they kind of, you know, have a little fun with the painting of these guys and the colors, which is good. I like that. And uh, the materials are really good, you know, so he's got the darker, you know, lower robe piece and then the outer robe here is lighter, which is cool. And then you have this guy here. I really like his look. He's got this little, you know, dark spot there. The way that, you know, his wrappings are very different. And, uh, you know, so there, he's more, you know, more dark, but then they have the tan legs, which is interesting stuff. So they did a good job overall, I think, with this set. It's a good set. Um, you know, like I said, leaving it, you know, buying multiples to have an army of these guys is kind of up for debate on it. Um, it's not, like I said, it's not as bad as a 212 clone pack that I reviewed recently or the upcoming Imperial Officer one. They're putting so many unique guys in there. It's almost like, you know, just it's that I think that's another one and done for me, especially the prices they're putting these out at. So, but... Yeah, pretty quick one today, looking at these guys. <clears throat> I mean, there's not much really to show. Um, but, you know, they do the job. I mean, it's going to look nice because, you know, couple it with, you know, let's bring in our Boba Fett or our new Tusken Warrior uh, here, who deluxe figure should have by the end of August, according to the email I received about the, my pre-orders. Uh, I've already shown you there, so, but you know, so I've got a nice, decent little squad here for uh, for my book of Boba Fett shelf when I get that all set up once I have shelves. <clears throat> so, but that should do it for this one. Um, thanks so much for watching. Um, if you are already one of my subscribers, thank you very much. I do greatly appreciate it. Um, if you are not a subscriber, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Would love to have you as part of the community here, and. Uh, Leave a comment below. What do you guys think? You know, am I missing the mark here? Do you like them? Do you not like them? You know, why do you like them? Why do you not like them? Always good to hear, like, you know, other opinions. We all collect differently. And uh, so, and uh, leave a like. You've made it this far. <laughs> but uh, that should do it for now. And until next time, this is the way. Remember, the first one to live you. The first one to live you.